so uh, in the last lecture we we tackled this kind of expression um, there's a little bit error on my solution regarding that um, no, so let's see this solution um, so to start so this expression um, I multiply this by the conjugate and then we arrive at this expression now um, observe this so this term is equal to this right recall in our um, properties in limits in evaluating limits at infinity so we divide um, a certain expression by the highest power of um, the variable right so the highest power in this expression is n so that's why we divide um, the numerator and the denominator by n So, we divide that by n, so we arrive at this expression, so up to this. Now, taking the limit as n approaches to infinity, so as n approaches to infinity, so this term will become 0, and then so we have 1, plus the square root of 1 is 1, plus 1, so we arrive at 1 half. And therefore, so since we have a finite value, so the sequence converges. Okay, so let us now proceed to the next topic, uh, which is the squeeze theorem. So this theorem um, has many uh, uses regarding evaluating limits, especially at infinity. So here's the theorem. So, if we have sequences a n, b n, and c n such that b n is between a n and c n inclusive for all n element of the positive integers, and if we take the limit of a n as n approaches to infinity, so that is equal to the limit of c n, which is equal uh, as n approaches to infinity. So if they have the same limit that is finite, then we can conclude that the limit of Bn as n approaches to infinity equals L. Okay, so we will use squeeze theorem to evaluate these two examples. Okay, so let us answer the first example. So let us evaluate the limit of sine n over n as n approaches to infinity okay so let's have the solution um, for this term so we know that sine x so the possible values of sine x must be between minus 1 and 1 so for all n now um, by dividing the expression by n We will arrive at minus 1 over n less than or equal to sine n over n is equal to 1 over n so for all n now um, by taking the limit so as n approaches to infinity 
So the limit of this term is equal to 0 as well as the limit of 1 over n as n approaches to infinity. So hence by squeeze theorem the limit of sine n over n as n approaches to infinity equals 0. Okay, so let's take the second example. So the expression was limit n factorial all over n to the n n approaches to infinity. So we need to prove that the limit is equal to 0. Okay, so um, to evaluate the expression, we need first to consider that n factorial over n to the n must be between 0 and 1 over n for n greater than or equal to 1. So applying this uh, statement, um, taking the limit as n approaches to infinity of 1 over n. So that is equal to 0 and since n factorial over n to the n is always greater than 0 so by squeeze theorem we have the result okay so let's proceed to the next topic which is limit of a function so it says here that if for any sequence such that xn approaches x0 we have that uh, f of xn approaches to uh, the value L then L is said to be the limit of the function so based on the statement if a certain sequence approaches x0 so if um, the sequence is a domain of a function so the image f of xn must approach to a certain value l so this value l is the limit of the function now let's proceed to L'Hopital's rule so we have the statement so given functions f of x and g of x such that either the limit of f of x equal to the limit of g of x equal to 0 or the limit of f of x equal to the limit of g of x which is infinity then the limit of the quotient is also equal to the limit of uh, the quotient taking their derivatives so provided that the latter limit exists so here are some examples all right so let's do letter a So, by just taking the limit as x approaches to 0, so sine 0 is 0. And then, uh, as x approaches 0, so this value here would be 0. So, meaning it is of the form 0 over 0. So applying L'Hopital's rule to get the limit 
of the expression. So we know that the derivative of sine x is cosine x and the derivative of x is 1. So we have limit x approaches to 0 cosine x all over 1 which is equal to cosine x so as x approaches 0 so the value here would be 1 so therefore the limit x approaches to 0 of sine x all over x is 1 Okay, so let's take the second example. Okay, so we first observe that as x approaches e, so ln e is equal to 1, 1 minus 1. We have zero and then for the denominator we have zero so that is of the form zero over zero so now we can now apply um Lapital's rule so we know that the derivative of one minus ln of x we have negative 1 over x and the derivative of x minus e we have 1 so meaning uh, if we take the limit as x approaches e of negative 1 over x over 1 so we have negative 1 over e and therefore limit 1 minus ln x over x minus e as x approaches e is equal to minus 1 over e For the last example, we have limit of ln x all over x as x approaches infinity. Now, by applying L'Hopital's rule, we know that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x and the derivative of x is equal to 1. So, we have limit x approaches to infinity 1 over x over 1 which is 0 so therefore limit x approaches infinity of ln x over x as x approaches to infinity so we have 0 